If you're putting all of your paid advertising into one channel, you're missing out on hundreds of thousands and possibly millions of dollars worth of sales and conversions. Let me explain. Most people, when they're doing their paid advertising, get stuck on one channel. They'll pick social media, for example, and pick Facebook or Instagram. They'll pick TikTok or they'll pick you know, some other social media platform like LinkedIn, and they'll do their advertising on that one platform. And then they'll want results out of that, which you can get. Don't get the wrong idea. However, it's not as effective as having a multi-channel paid advertising strategy. When you look at multi-channel paid advertising, what you do is, yes, you do some social media advertising, but you also do some search-based advertising for people who are searching for those keywords that you want to rank for, not only on Google, but also on YouTube. People are going to YouTube and searching for YouTube videos. It's the same platform. Google is the number one search engine in the world. YouTube is the number two search engine in the world. So why wouldn't it make sense to be on those platforms? And then the third channel is what we call the open web. That's 96% of the open web that you could be advertising on outside of those closed gated channels of social media and Google. You see, when you advertise on a social media platform like Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, you're only advertising to people who are using those channels at that time. So if like people aren't on the channel all day long, like some people are you know, big users of TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. However, they do use the internet in other ways. They're, they're searching for travel, they're searching for, you know, deals, they're searching for car hire, they're searching for all sorts of things for themselves, their families, their children, and they're on the internet and you can target those people based on the interest of what they're already looking at. So for example, if you were a mortgage broker and someone was looking to refinance their home loan, they're going to go on the internet and look at how do I refinance my home loan. They're going to be looking for that content already. And based on their contextual uh, interest, you can be advertising to them about your mortgage broking services. It's the same with real estate. If someone's looking at property, you can show up with your real estate brokering or real estate agent's office. There are many ways to do this. You've got to be really super targeted with your approach and not just leave all of your eggs in one basket when it comes to paid advertising. That is the biggest mistake I see time and time again. A small business, a startup, a solo entrepreneur might only have 5K to 10K a month to spend on their advertising and they put all of their balls into one basket, all of their eggs into one basket and they put the whole 5K or their whole advertising budget onto say Facebook or Instagram or to TikTok. And they don't do anything else with Google search and YouTube. They don't do anything else with the open web and retargeting and contextual advertising and open web advertising. That is the biggest mistake I see. Let's say you have $10,000 to spend on advertising. You wanna split that up and you wanna split it up depending on your targeting, depending on your goals. You wanna split it up based on where people are in the funnel. So typically, Someone right at the top of the funnel, where they're not really interested in what you have to offer, they're not really interested in your services, they're not active, actively looking for what you've got, they're going to be at the top of the advertising funnel, and you'll find those people on the social media platforms. Now, when you move further along and people are searching for what you're looking, what, what you've got as an offering, that's the open web. That's contextual advertising, that's open web advertising or native advertising. You see the display banners, the videos and all of that all on other people's websites. That's that particular advertising and that's the middle of the funnel advertising. And then right at the bottom when people are ready to buy, they start searching for local businesses. And that's search-based advertising, search -based advertising on the likes of Google. So the most effective strategy is to make sure that you're advertising across all of those platforms when it comes to your paid advertising strategy. If you've got 10K a month, take three to 4K, put it on social media. Take two or 3K, put it onto open web native advertising. And take the final two or 3K and put it onto search-based advertising on Google or YouTube. Now the percentages will change depending on the strategies of how many people do you wanna target at the top of the funnel who are not really interested you know, in what you've got versus how many people in the middle of the funnel do you want to advertise to, and how many people at the bottom of the funnel who are ready to buy do you want to advertise to. So the percentages will change depending on the goals of your company.
You may want to target a whole bunch of new people that have never heard about you, or you may want to want to target people who have already started looking for your products and services, or you may want to target more of the people who are ready to buy. Depending on your goals will depend on what the strategies are for you to reach those different people based on where they are in the advertising funnel. Now, if this makes sense to all of you, if you've watched this video and you're thinking, gee, that makes a lot of sense, Cameron's made a lot of sense with how he's explained that, I want you to leave me a DM wherever you're watching this video, or alternatively, head over to my agency at bubblegummarketing.com, that's bubblegummarketing.com, or go to my personal website at camroberts.com.au. Reach out, fill out a form, and let's have a discussion about getting the right paid advertising strategies into your company or your business.